Hello, my name is Tom Stiles, and this is Tom's Reader Room Show number 352. And I just did a review of these two books, ARRL Wire Antenna Classics and More Wire Antenna Classics. And I said I was going to then do a show on this one, which is about antennas, but it's very different than these two books. These two books basically tell you how to build an antenna, what parts you need, how to construct it, how you set it up in your yard, whatever. This one is different, and I'm going to tell you how it's different now. This one, which is fairly thick book, it's a 765 pages, a big book. This is on antenna theories, how antennas work, how different antennas work, and it's just loaded with theory information about antennas. I mean, everything you would possibly want to know about antennas and how they're constructed as far as the mathematics involved and determining how long you make uh, a long wire antenna and why you make it that length. And it just goes into all kinds of technical information. Here's some, here's like for instance, here's a formula. Oops, that's not showing up too well. My lighting is just not too well. But anyway, believe me, trust me, right here is a formula of how you um, determine the length in feet of a delta loop. I didn't realize that the, uh, my lighting is kind of bright on here. Um, and this covers all kinds of antennas. This covers HF antennas, VH, UHF antennas, microwave antennas, all kinds of antennas. And everything you ever wanted to know about the theory and how they work, why they work, how to make them better. And it, uh, it just goes on and on and on. Here's some... Uh, these are called Smith charts, I believe, which is where you chart the, what do you want to call it, the field of which the antenna receives. You know, what's, what direction does it receive best in? And so you, you plot your results on these charts. And it uh, talks about building dummy loads. I'm sorry you can't see the text too well. I, let me see what happens when I turn the light off. Yeah, it didn't make it any better. That made it a little better. Okay, sorry about that. Um, and it uh, talks about balums, which you use to match the impedance of the antenna that you made to your coax coming in and eventually to your radio. Uh, how to mount things. How to set up towers. Here's some stuff about towers. Here's showing a, uh, a mast, I mean a, a tower, a mast, and a thrust bearing so that you can rotate the antenna. So this, this is, um, it's got lots of good pictures, but this is theory of antennas. The theory of antennas, so you can, if you want to f delve into how antennas work and why they work and the different types of antenna, this is the book to get. This book is fairly expensive, though, and uh, I was lucky to get a donation from my, a credit, actually, on Amazon from one of my subscribers, who which is to remain anonymous, to purchase this book, one of these books, and then I bought the other one myself. This book retails for $52 and on Amazon I think it's like $31.95 so it's not a cheap book but it if you're I don't know where you'd get more information about antenna theory I'll call it than this book so you, if you're interested in the theory of antennas this is a great book to get if you are only interested in building antennas and you don't give a hoot 
why they worked. You just want to set them up. This is the book. These are the books to get these two books. And together, um, these are uh, like $32 to, together. This one's 14 and this one's $18 uh, retail. And then, of course, they're cheaper than that on Amazon. So anyway, that's the show. I wanted to show you these two books. Um, if you're not into how an antenna works or the theory or the mathematics, then I wouldn't advise getting this one. I'd advise getting these if you just want to build antennas and get them working. Okay, so that's the show for today. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.